Hello, Rim the Most High God, and welcome to another edition of the Kingdom Intelligence Briefing. KISB's purpose is to provide an intelligence briefing for the body of Messiah that will both inform and empower the remnant in the last days. We want you to know that you're not alone. There are more of us than you realize. And the ranks of the resistance against Mystery Babylon are growing all around the world. This is episode number 367. I'm your host, Dr. Michael Lake, and I'm in the KIB studio today with the love of my life, Mary Lou. Hey, friends. It's good to be back talking to you again. Boy, the news is just rapidly going. You hear something huge and significant almost every day. It's hard to keep up. It is, and sometimes they try to hide it as saying it's just kind of this some little minor thing on the side, too, that ends up being big and significant. Yeah, that's true. They do that a lot when they're trying to push through bills in Congress and, and things like that. But, uh, of course, the um, death of Queen Elizabeth is, all. I mean, it's just totally taken over the news. And I could surely understand that in England. England or Canada, because they're kind right. of a, but a vassal nation. I, I just, I can't keep from thinking they're using this to, while they're planning some other things that they don't want the public to see. Uh, you know, the um, for those that are, you know, lived in England, and, and uh, I can sure understand their... Uh, being upset, you know, with the queen passing that they've known her, most of them probably all all their lives. She was up in her 90s. Uh, but I think that there's so much under the surface that we don't know. And it's kind of like it is here in, in the United States. You know, we have figures that are so revered, um, and, and, you know, there's so much emotion tied with it. But so much of what we all see in whatever nation you are is deception. Yeah, it is. And you know the the thing with uh, Prince Andrew Epstein, um, that uh, there was a one of the guys I guess was calling out to him or something during one of their processions, and of course they quickly hushed that up. But I mean that was no little thing, just like it is over here. You know these these stories get pushed under. You know when Princess Diana died in that car wreck, many believe that was a a murder as a sacrifice and it was it was odd that the queen died the day after september 7th which is the marriage of the beast ceremony <laughs> it is which which shows you that nobody on the world stage is indispensable and they'll use them for whatever purpose they want whether willingly or unwillingly well and it's it's just hard to know what's what yeah you know that's why we have to ask god to give us discernment and wisdom because you'll just be totally caught off guard. Yeah. Uh, but, but I've noticed on, on the, the whole issue with the queen, and I, I understand the emotion of it, but there is something being sent over that that tries to move your emotions beyond what would be sensible. You know, it's, it's almost like you feel this, this huge um, wave hit you to cry. And, and I've, it's kind of like commercials. When you see commercials, then they use it to, to sway your emotions. And, and so I don't know that they're not using this in some way to get people in, in a state that is conducive to the elite's agenda. Oh, absolutely. And for us to be so caught up in this that we're, we're missing That we're going to miss something. I'd, um, I'd thought about when she died about the, uh, you know, we both saw the Prophecy Club video many years ago where Henry Groover had seen a vision with Prince Charles in it. <clears throat> and in the, that vision, the, he said that he, uh, his face was very puffy and he'd been crying, and Henry said in the vision, he thought, boy, something horrible's happened. I thought, well, that, that might be indicative of right now when his mother passed away. And the whole, the, the thing that, that Henry saw was about a Russian army that was um, coming to to do a chemical warfare attack. And what was interesting is is Henry described, um, you know, what the uh, what they looked like. He'd never seen any military gear like this, but he later talked to someone in our military that confirmed that the gear that Henry saw was the chemical warfare gear that the Russian army has. And this guy was so concerned because he said, we had nothing in this nation that could match it and that, that it would melt our gear. And so 
Um, I think this is definitely a time that we need to pray, not over, f- not only for Europe, for England, uh, all all the folks that are there, but for us too, because now these these were part of visions that Henry saw were. Uh, submarines attacked America. And we know that that was delayed because the one general that he saw was killed. But I I think that we've really got to be prayerful. And maybe that's what they're doing with the push and the emotional thing with the queen is to get everybody. Because, you know, when you're emotional, your logic is kind of to the side. And and you're you're not... um, maybe not as as sober and diligent in your thoughts and and keeping track of what's going on so so maybe this is part of they're going to use this because they can they can put frequencies and all kinds of things over the TV over and and so because this is the thing I don't even know you know I've heard lots of of reports I know nothing personally but I've heard lots of reports that the the royal family is part of the the bloodlines, yeah, and and I don't know if that's true, but I but I I think that uh, Prince Andrew Andrew would definitely be one of the factors that would make you wonder since he he was involved with Epstein. Um, I don't have any emotional attachment to that at all, but yet I could feel the wave of it coming, and I thought, now this is this is not my emotion. This is something being pushed. So anytime something like that's going on, it means they're trying to get you in a state where you won't be alert. You mm-hmm. won't be ready for something. And that was what Henry saw in this vision as they as they uh, did this chemical warfare attack. He said that it totally caught the people by surprise. It's like they could see it but wouldn't believe they'd ever right. use it. And, and see, that's, that's kind of how it is with everything. It's like over here, you know, I... I love this nation. My goodness, I'm so thankful for for the freedoms we have enjoyed here. But like if you just look at the history that we've been taught and you leave out all the other things that now have come to light and things that have been exposed about Freemasonry, the New World Order, you know, the Bush family, all this stuff, you you would be so out of the loop on what's going on. That you that you wouldn't wouldn't even try to figure out what God's doing, because now this think about this this is a time of great exposure. God is exposing things now. When He exposes things, He's wanting us to take heed and to pray and take whatever action we need to uh, to to get things going back in a godly way. And and I'm telling you, there is something big going on right now that we need to be alert. We need to be praying. I, I pray for extra protection. I ask that God would forgive the sins of any any um, war, people that are involved in pushing war, that he would, he would put a, a stop to anything that is outside of what he wants done right now. Yes. And I believe all these wars that the elite plan for their agenda, that's not God's plan. Well, they, they also get rich. And arms sales and the bankers get rich and all these different things. There's off a lot the, of things. the misery of what's going on. Now, there people. are times in the Bible, and we've seen this, that God uses another army when the people turn away from him. And man has this nation turned away. Yes. Uh, but I do see people raising up as these things are exposed, taking action, praying against it, making declarations to try to move things back to God's way. So to me, that pushes back that agenda. You know, God God wants us praying. God wants us to, to seek Him with all our hearts. And so when we do that, I believe that it can delay things. It can push things back. And some things can be changed. Um, and that's obvious because mm-hmm. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that Henry Groover is a, a prophet 100%. And I think the fact that that one general died that he saw showed that God delayed what he'd showed Henry. So we, we can pray about these things. Um, yeah, didn't his son repost that video on YouTube or something this week from Henry? I think he has. I think you can find it easy if you just look up. Henry Groover's vision about Prince Charles. Yeah, I'm sure it'd come up. Uh, but it's it's one of the things I thought since he had the puffy eyes like he'd been crying, I thought that might be an indicator that we are at the time, especially with what's going on with Russia and the Ukraine. And uh, 
I tell well, you, I get so angry. Well, see, Russia could use could look at this as okay. Uh, the UK is destabilized right now as they scramble to get everything back into place. It'd be a perfect time for an attack. Well, and and NATO yeah. is supporting Ukraine, and so it there's just so much more than what you see on the news, there and is. that's and there always is. There always is. We can't just look at this thing and say, say you know that. You, Ukraine is a wonderful place, and and you know we now we always want to support freedom. We always want to do that, but at the same time, there's like probably a thousand other agendas going on within this one. Absolutely. So we got to be careful how we even pray and ask God for wisdom because I I have always felt you know most people have just said uh, you know we've got to help Ukraine we've got to help Ukraine. But I have always felt in my spirit there's so much more to this than what we know. And we've got to be prayerful and pray and speak in God's will, God's perfect plan over things, that God's people be protected, that um, because well, there's there's a lot going on. And I think I think we definitely can take this vision that Henry had and put it in right now. Oh, absolutely. In because fact, of what's going on with Russia. You know, I heard a uh, someone high up in the U.S. government that, uh, that asked the State Department not to allow Russia to come to the UN meetings, and in it she said that Russia attacked Ukraine without provocation. Uh, yet, when you look at everything, it's like NATO was goading this. So I mean, there's there's so much more going on. There's well, you can't listen to American news. No, I mean I don't know how they're doing overseas. I don't listen to their newscasts, but American news is so propaganda. It is propaganda all the way through. And and even when, it's amazing to me that even when something is exposed, like as only God could have done it about the uh, Russian collusion hoax and all the things that, that get, do you ever hear anybody apologize and say, we made a mistake? They just keep going. It just shows you that, they're, that, they, that they aren't worried about integrity. They're just worried about following oh, what yeah. they're told. They'll, they'll tell you one week, this is false news. The people mm-hmm. that are saying this other are liars, they're dirty, rotten scoundrels. And the next week, oh, yeah, by the way, we found out. That, right. You know, and, but so, now this this is the news because we, we say it is even though it was a lie last week. So th- that's what I'm taking uh, from Henry's vision because I thought about it the minute that uh, – She passed away. She passed away. That's what came to mind is because I've always um, – now, this is just my opinion. It's not from God or anything. I've just always thought that Prince Charles is not a problem. I think his son will be <laughs> when he, when he takes over. Yeah. You know, I've got a book in my library, and because of the um, uh, the position he had before he became king that now his son is taken, uh, the whole the whole structure of that is, is by the power of the dragon. That's part of the, the, that house. And so many have thought that was going to be the Antichrist. Uh, and, you know, I've, I've kind of looked at that and said, you know, the, the, I think the book was called The Antichrist and a Cup of Tea. And you kind of, you know, you put a big Now, there are a lot mark. of people have thought that, that Prince Charles was that. Uh, he's not, I don't, he's not I don't believe enough. that. But I do think that there is an agenda that would involve. Uh, that house. Yeah. Yeah. And no, so. Absolutely. And so I've just been praying and asking God to forgive any sins that were done in conjunction with that. Marriage of the Beast on September 7th, and her death. Uh, I've just been covering everything with the blood of Jesus to break satanic agendas and ask God's mercy, especially in the situation where we've got Russia right there. I mean, the war is being provoked all over the place, and we don't want this ke- some kind of chemical thing released. No. And... I mean, and and see, they would be caught unaware. They'd be caught unaware, and, and some of this stuff has a a shelf life that's unbelievable. And in fact, when I was in the military uh, back in the late seventies, early eighties, in in Europe, there was the, there were types of mustard gas and blister blister agents that never break down. And so, so once the, that's released, it's it was still there. There there were areas in Europe you could not go because of that. Because of that. Well, what? What could it possibly be where this military man said it melted our gear? Yep. Is it like acidic? There could be some type of acidic thing to it that would would break down the uh, either the charcoal that's up underneath or even the the the, the plastic. 
that that's oh, that, waterproofing on the outside. I think that's this is where our prayers are so important, and and we have the best prayer warriors in the world as, yeah, as our partners. And uh, I just ask you guys to join with me because I I think I think Henry hit it right on the nose, and I think this is the time when that would be something that would happen yeah. like that. In fact, I did a, a show yesterday for the Kingdom War Room, and one of the, one of our discussions were how many generals in the kingdom that have gone on to be with the Lord that, well, we could really use their insights right now. And thank God that uh, ones like Henry, so many of his things are out on video and and different things. And uh, when we were talking with Dr. Greg Reed, his pastor, a phenomenal Bible teacher, prophecy teacher and everything, I guess he had passed away. And Greg caught one of the guys in the church throwing out literally almost 40 to 50 years worth of Bible teaching on cassette, oh, throwing no. away the masters. And, oh, and he no. went, and Greg went, no, <laughs> and went and got them all. He's now in the process of converting them all to Digital. MP3 yeah. so that he can upload them to YouTube because we, we need we the, need the that. vanguard. Yes, that, we sure do. Got, you know, and one of the things that you may have missed in the news, and I, I just caught it yesterday when I, I was sitting down just getting getting my stuff together to, to come to the office, and they just flippantly – Oh, by the way, the you know the the banks have decided that they're switching because you know each merchant has a merchant code, so that it designates what you sell. Well, like if I you go to Lowe's, it's concerned durable goods, whether it's chainsaws or whatever. Well, firearm dealers had the same exact code. They just recently changed it to where now the banks will know if you use a credit card or debit card and you go to your local firearms dealer and you buy a firearm or you buy ammunition. Now the banks can categorize that and tag you and say this person has ammunition. That 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 is a the 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 whole definition of fascism is when elements of the government and industry work together to suppress the people. And we, we've seen that with YouTube. We've seen that with Facebook. We we now now it's coming out that we had government officials uh, censoring people through Facebook and through Twitter. All that all that's now come out. Uh, th- this is another one, and why, why this one's on my radar is no communist revolution has ever worked as long as the people remained armed. They have to disarm you first. Now, you, you okay, so now we, we're having this to where, and now in the future, unless you pay cash for stuff, which they're trying to move toward a cashless society to, that um, the banks are going to have a record of anything like this that you purchase. You have the IRS has 87,000 new IRS agents that in the ad, and I've got a copy of that ad, that says that you have to be willing to carry a firearm and use deadly force. They're training along with with other ATF because whenever they decide to do a raid on somebody, it falls under the ATF. And you have even now moving toward a cashless society. Uh, At the end of October, Starbucks is no longer going to accept cash. It has to be debit or credit card, which I think is actually illegal because that you know, says right on the $1 bill, this is to be used for all debt, legal and or public and private. But it, it's all moving in this direction. And I have wondered, and this is, this is just my own speculation, one of the things President Obama called for in several of his speeches was a private civilian army. I have wondered if it's not going to be the IRS. That's a thought. <laughs> to, to suppress the people because there are, there are many elements. The world is now shifting toward communism. It, it is a mind virus that started with a false Jewish messiah. It first started with Sabbatai Zev and then it went on to, to Jacob Frank, which took it to a whole other level, and he merged in with the Rothschilds and with Adam Weishaupt in the formation of the, of the Illuminati. And so, I mean, it's, it's just lockstep, and, and he was an annihilist. Guys, we need to understand that everything that's going on, whenever we, this is why we have got to hear the Spirit of God, and we, we, we have got to have a solid foundation in the Word. You know, people always want, you know, it's like, I want to do spiritual warfare. Please show me, give me the right prayers to pray. You have to have a whole lot before you even get there because you can actually have every word right, and if your heart's not right, it's not going to work. It's not going to work right. That we have to have a solid foundation in the Word of God. Now I want you to listen. This is this is out of uh, second. This is out of Second Timothy, 
chapter 3, verses 10 through 13. This is the Apostle Paul sharing. And 2 Timothy, I really take as a significant book because it was the last epistle written by the Apostle Paul. And Bible historians will say that he actually finished it the night before he was martyred. And so he's, he's, he's giving the marching orders to Timothy. And he said in verse 10, But you have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, perseverance, persecution, affliction, which happened to me in, in Antioch and Iconium and Lystra, which persecutions I endured, and out of all of them the Lord delivered me. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Listen to verse 13, because this, this is the hallmark of, of the world and the mystery Babylon. It says, but evil men and imposters, what are imposters? Those that are presenting themselves either to give truth or whatever. They're, they're something other than what they are. You see, sorcery is a sleight of hand. It's deception. There's all these things going on. And he said, he said that evil men and imposters will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. No, they're deceiving because they're being deceived. And when you look at this in, in, the, in, the, in the Greek, uh, planau, being deceived or, or de- being or deceiving, it means to lead astray, to lead aside from the right way, to to wander to roam metaphorically, to lead away from the truth, to lead into error or to be deceived, uh, to uh, to to sever or to fall away from the truth, to to be led into error and sin. The currency of mystery Babylon is deception. Nobody wants to go into slavery. And the New World Order is going to be a system of absolute slavery. They're going to be a slave. It's going to be the the reestablishing of of Nimrod. And in fact, I think it's going to be antediluvian stuff going on at the same time what was going on with Nimrod. People aren't going to buy into that, Mary, unless they're deceived to do it. Well, remember that uh, report we... Uh, read or saw I can't remember if it was something we watched on one of the videos but it was about that they they wanted people just in a little cubicle and that they would be happy to just sit there and play video, and play games. video games and things Mike there's I'm seeing a lot of of the younger generations that would fit that model mm-hmm. you don't but, hardly go anywhere that you don't see somebody just with their face in their phone and All the time. <laughs> in fact, on the the, uh, the interview we did yesterday, one of the things with the younger generation, because uh, Dr. Reed deals a lot with youth still, uh, he says they have been programmed not to read. So they're not reading the Constitution. <laughs> you know, the, if you handed them the Federalist Papers, they wouldn't know what to do with it. They, they would not read it. They're, they're not readers. It's either podcasts or, or whatever the talking heads are saying that they're not reading the Word of God. And they're not reading all these things. And it sets you up for deception. Well, you know, I'm thinking back on it, I, I don't like to read at all. The only thing I've ever enjoyed reading was the Bible since I got free. Yeah. I couldn't read it before then. But I've never been a reader, and I, that might have been part of my programming. Just don't, don't read, don't find out for yourself, just listen and do. Yeah. I mean, that would make sense. It, it's, it's, it's Hitler's modern version of when he burned the books. Well, you mm-hmm. just get people not to read them mm-hmm. anymore. But there is a, a, an amazing group of young people raising up, though. Yeah. That, that are followers of Jesus that I believe are going to rock the world. <laughs> that, that's, that's one of the things I was sharing with them, and, and uh, it made Greg smile. That I remember the first tier of the watchman I went to, uh, I told you about that young, uh, he, he, was, had, he had to be under 13. He had the Shiner Directive, and it had sticky notes, and I bet there wasn't a page that there was not highlighting in notes. And his dad was grinning from ear to ear. He said, uh-huh. this is his book. He has some questions he wants to ask you. Mary, he, this, this, I, I guess he was about 11. He was asking me better questions than any adult had ever asked See, me. God's just raising up a generation, isn't he? Well, it would be truthful. I, I actually went up to my room and cried for a little bit after that because it gave me hope mm-hmm. that we have a generation that are hungry for truth. Yeah. Oh, and that's see, that's what's got to happen. Mike, it's the, only, it's the only thing that can break deception. Absolutely. Is the truth. That's why the... Um, whistleblowers and people have been so brave enough to say what's really going on not just what you see on tv but what i I just admire them so much they're courageous they know they know what they're coming against it's like you're standing in front of a tsunami sitting there saying i'm gonna you know 
gear myself up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to brace myself yeah. and hear this big thing's coming at me because you will have a backlash. Well, I, I just read a report. There's a, there's a conservative movement called True, uh, True the Vote, just to make sure that there is legitimacy in the vote. Did you know they've already been harassed by the FBI and the IRS? <laughs> well, we couldn't have a, a fair election. No. <laughs> You know, when when the apostle Paul is, he said, "Listen, in the last days, and this is going to grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived." But when you pick up in verse fourteen, he said, "But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus." All scripture is given by inspiration of God, is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped to every good work. Now, Mary, I, I, one of the things I didn't, when you read this, and I looked at every Greek word, not one of them meant to make you feel good all over. Not, not one of them, you, there isn't this warm fuzzy in all this. He said, listen, the kingdom of darkness operates by deception. And the only antidote is to be solid in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. It's true. Because then you can place all your trust in Him. And, you know, even, even if there are there is war coming, God can provide safety for His people. Yeah. And, and that, that I'm steadfast in. I never had any problem once God delivered me and I, I started getting set free from trusting God. I increasingly lost my trust in people. Yes. <laughs> That's what happened in the process. And, and I, you know, I, I believe in my heart that there are more good people than there are bad people. I really do. I think that there are people that, that are, are just wanting to have a decent life and are not bad people. But I can tell you because of this deception, most people, even most Christians, are totally unprepared for what's getting ready to happen. Well, we have had such watering down. We, we have been attacked. Uh, the, it's hard to find that. This is one of the things that we, we hear all the time from our ministry. I need to find a place where they're actually teaching the Word of God mm -hmm. and, and teaching it from a legitimate translation. Now, one of the ones, guys, if you have a Bible called the Message Bible, throw it away. All you have to do is read the Lord's Prayer. He literally says, as above, so below uh, in the Lord's Prayer. That is the highest occult statement. That is the highest phraseology used in all the occult. It comes from Tristus, uh, what is it, Hermes Trismegistus, uh, from, the, from the Emerald Tablets, and it is the, the core central thing of every occultism on the planet. This guy inserts it into the Lord's Prayer. And when you start reading through it, there are there are many phrases that are Masonic. There are many phrases that are New Age all throughout that translation. You know, if you have if you have problems with the King James, get a new King James, New American Standard, uh, Amplified Bible is also very good. But that one needs to hit the trash can because and and there there are others. Mary, they're, they're coming out with ones that are gender neutral, for as God as far as God is concerned. All these different things they're they're trying to if they can taint the word of God, they weakened the saints and set us up for deception. Well, and and the, I think one of the problems is, just like it was my problem, is I didn't know God. Yeah. I, I knew about him. I believed my whole life that Jesus died for our sins. I didn't have any problem believing that. I didn't know him, though. I, I knew what I heard people say about him. And then when I got free and started learning the word and just got so intently in prayer to where I could hear his voice and I then you get to know his nature. And you have to you have to make that's how you you balance yourself as you go to the word and say, Okay, is this in line with what God's word is? Because anything you hear will be in line with his word. How many times have we been listening to somebody preach and I get mad because I say, That doesn't line up with the character mm -hmm. of God. Yeah, that's true. And that's and that's what bothers me about the time we're in. You know, is is I, I hear people almost just wishing that everything would get destroyed. You know, like like that's God's will. He's just gonna judge it and wipe it out. And and there's a day coming 
that God's going to, you know, release his, his wrath. We know that. But it's, it's a dangerous thing to start getting in line with what the enemy's doing. That's what I am trying carefully not to do, is line myself up in prayer or speech with what the agenda of the enemy is. And, and you know what I, all I see with all this mess we're in right now? It's just the agenda of the yeah. enemy. And well, the, the enemy, we, we saw this in the Georgia Guidestones, they want to wipe out, what is it, 80 to 85% of the world population? Mm -hmm. That's their agenda. And not that I don't want people to be prepared. My goodness, I've been a prepper forever. And, yeah. and it was saying this many years ago when I didn't hear anybody else saying it. You know, we've got to get prepared in case times get rough because we are going to see tough times. Now, there's no way that we're not going to see some tough times. I don't believe that, that you know, there, what is that called, dominionism, where some people just think, okay, the Christians are going to rise up and they're going to take over the world until Jesus gets back. I don't see that in the Word. I don't either. I, but I do see all through the Word where God provided safety for those that love him and those that are, and, and then the other part of our ministry that I think is crucial for people to know is you can't bake on safety if your life isn't lined up with the word. Oh, yeah. You can't have these big, huge openings, breaches in your protection because you've, you're in sin or you haven't covered things with the blood of Jesus, you haven't got sanctified, and expect God to protect you. You know, one of the things that God's been having me do, I've, I've, I've picked back up the uh, Christian Complete Armor. That was written in 1663. You would be surprised because I, I, I have found a lot of times if I want real meat, I'll go back and I'll read Pember, or I'll read Spurgeon, or I'll read uh, uh, Gundel uh, for the Christian Complete Armor. You, you almost have to go back a century or more and the mindsets that they had, you know, when we, today, if you listen to somebody talking about the armor of God, it's all about beating up the devil so that you can get your stuff back from him. When you go back in, in 1662, they viewed the armor as equipment to mortify the flesh. Well, and we need it. I mean, oh, we absolutely. need that because our flesh raises up every day. <laughs> absolutely. And, and the, 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 to live the crucified life, because they knew the, it, it's the world, the flesh, and the devil are our biggest problems. And the church has lost the truth of that. That's, that's why to be ready for spiritual warfare, you have to be solid in the word. You mm -hmm. have to have that relationship from God. And you have to have your flesh under control and your mind stable. And, your, and the stability of your mind comes from getting your flesh under control and knowing the word and fellowship with God. Well, you know, it's, it's not... I don't believe it's God's will that America be destroyed or he wouldn't be given the warnings to people like Henry Groover to tell the people. Yeah. There has to be a pushing it down the road for his purposes or something or he wouldn't even, why even bother? This is his will. It's going to get done. There's not a thing you can do. I don't believe that. I believe that the warnings have been put out there. I know that God told me what was coming, so I would pray. Yeah. So I would pray that it would be delayed, that people would turn to him. When you, when you listen to Dietrich Dudeman, it's, it's the areas that, um, where the greatest sin was mm -hmm. that propagated and promoted the sin and the propaganda. There are other places that are destroyed. And uh, like, you know, there's, there are places out, I think there are places out in California, the Los Well, Hollywood uh, is, yeah. I mean, Hollywood, Las I can't Vegas, imagine that that will Chicago, have New York, um, all, the, all the places that are quite frankly, democratic strongholds are the, are the ones that, that really get wiped out. And, you know, I, I think that everything and, you know, I don't, are, are we there yet? Don't know. What we do know is, you know what, you know where the safest place to be is? In the perfect will of God. It is. Wherever he tells you to be, if you're there, you're all right. That's right. And, and knowing that the adversary does go around like a, a roaring lion seeking whom he may destroy. He's trying to destroy you. If you're yes. a Christian, he's trying to destroy you, and he will use any avenue he has, any breach in your wall of protection, anything that's there from the ancestry, that's, and you've got those generational spirits still hovering around you, affecting you, you are vulnerable to yes. attacks. It's not that God doesn't want to keep you safe. It's that you're walking yourself out of the kingdom. The safety's in the kingdom. And I said this years ago, you can walk yourself out of the kingdom, yes, out of can. protection. Yeah. Or you can walk yourself deeper in if you're studying the word. And one of the things that we need to, I think, you know, it's, it's our position to drive out the ites. 
You know, and some people need deliverance, but I think some people, part of the sanctification process is when you see something in the Word, the Holy Spirit reveals, okay, this is the area that you're, you're guilty of that you need to work on. You repent of it. You command anything from the enemy that was the part of that in your life to get out in the name of Jesus. You ask the Holy Spirit to fill that up. I mean, that's the part of it is, is you know, part of it is it, we're, we're almost kind of going through a constant deliverance in that we, we have any influence of the enemy as the Holy Spirit reveals it as we study the Word. Yeah. We drive them things out yeah. and we give them no, no quarter, no aid in our lives. They become enemies. And you daily have to crucify your flesh. It yes. doesn't go away. No. <laughs> We've all got a fleshly nature. And it will rear its head, and you daily have to crucify yeah. it. And, you know, the, the main way to get that done is you get up in the morning, your first thought, if you're close to God, your first thought's of him. God, thank you for sustaining us through the night. Yeah. What, what do you want me to do today? Help me to follow the path that you've laid out for me and, and do your will. And then you just have to, you have to battle thoughts, and you have— it's it's just the fleshly nature. It doesn't mean that you've you've went backwards. You know, I, I think people have such a such a a stark difference. Like like there's no middle ground. It's like you're either perfect over here and you never sin, or you're a sinner over here and and you're not yeah. even close to anything. Well, nobody's and perfect. But no, Jesus. no, that's the truth. And you're gonna slip up and you're gonna mess up. We all are. But the the main thing is 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 your heart to follow God. It will lead you back to that path. It will keep you in that that safe place in the kingdom. Absolutely. And the kingdom is following God's word. We have been taken so far away from that. All the ch- I get um, concerned for the, the modern day church because it is, in my view, it is far from the kingdom yeah. in many aspects. And so... Uh, I just think it's it's a good time to be praying for all the different churches that God would reveal the truth, that that people would start to question things, and um, because it would be a dangerous place to be in a church that is saying it's okay uh, to do abortions. It would be a, a dangerous place to be in a church that is saying that it's it's fine with God. If you have alternate lifestyles, gay lifestyles, it would be a dangerous place to be in a church that all they talk about is, uh, you know, you tithe and you get rich. These are dangerous places. Yes, they are. Because that, that's outside the kingdom. We, we have to have the full counsel of God's word so that we can have the full armor on to be ready for what's coming. Because let me tell you something. With what the devil wants to lose on planet Earth— you're going to have to be in your armor mm-hmm. and you're going to, have to be trained up and you're going to have to know the word because deception is going to be at an all time high. Absolutely. And the, the, in fact, the Bible says, listen, these people are going to be so caught up in their deception. God says, you want to be deceived? I'm going to go ahead and loose the ultimate deception. And that's when the Antichrist is going to come up and, it's, and God's going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to, I, this is the route you want to go. I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and pull out the throttle and just put it all the way, pedal to the metal. And, and like you said, this, this persuasion is backed by sorcery. Yes. It's not just somebody. plays on emotions. Right. It's not just somebody telling you their opinion and, and uh, you can decide. It, it overrides your thought, um, your logic, your rationale, and, and just set you on the path so you'll follow what's being said. You know, sometimes I feel like, it's probably because I was programmed, but it's, it's sometimes like I feel like I can see the ticker tape of what the enemy's promoting for the day. And here in the last couple of weeks, I keep seeing that, um, don't you just wonder if this is real about Jesus? Don't you, don't you just wonder that it, it isn't a part of, um, you know, all these other uh, myths that were in in the past. That's what I think, you know. And and it's like I see a little ticker tape, and I'll say, "Well, I come against that. That deception is being not only presented but pushed. It's it's like a sorcery push to make you accept it. Yeah, make you doubt. Well, what they what you know when you when you see what they do, it's either they try to be salve and smooth. And if that doesn't work, then they play to your emotions. And if that doesn't work, they do character assassination. Mm-hmm. 
But they, what they really we've are, we've got to be Im- immune to all three. Well, they're they're really having a lot of success though, with the pushing an agenda. Yeah. Just just get you to accept this, and and what they've done right now, one of the things that they'll use is the economy's in a mess. You know, I saw a little uh, one of those a real news feed. I not one that I see on a ticker tape, but a, a news feed that was down at the bottom of one of the newscasts I watched, and it said that uh, families that are uh, have an income of a hundred thousand dollars a year are now shopping at Dollar General so they can pay their bills. So what it means is probably their the interest on their house has caused their house payment to go up and to where they're going to have to buy groceries at the cheapest place they can get it. I couldn't understand it at first, and then uh, later on somebody talked about it, and they and because of the way the economy is, and they they plan on unless our prayers change it, they plan on crashing the economy. No, it will be after uh, the, the, the coming upcoming elections in November. Cause what, what you're going to see is we're probably going to yeah. see gasoline go down to about $2 and 25 cents a gallon and everything will look rosy. And they think that we have a memory of a gnat. Okay. You're not going to remember paying almost $5 a gallon here a couple of months ago, you know, and that you've done it for the last two years. But once we get past that election, if they, that's when everything. Well, but people going aren't going to buy that, and I can tell you why. The exposure that God's done has got enough people praying that it's breaking through. Yeah. It's breaking through. And people are starting to question. I bet you, they, they would never tell you this on the news, but I bet you there are Democrats that are saying, what's going on? Oh, there are. I, well, I've, actually, I've seen that on the news. And we've actually had some Democrats uh, say, you know what? I'm a Republican now. We, we've actually had some of that happen. Uh, plus, we, we've had, when you when you look at it, even among the Democrats, their approval rate's something like at 30 to 35 percent. I mean, it's, and, it's, and some of the very liberal uh, news agencies, uh, CNN for the last year or so, has had lower ratings than the Cartoon Network. And I mean, some of the stuff that our current president has said has even had their commentators go, what in the world yeah. is going and on? And thank God we've got alternate news media now. Yeah. You know, we, we've got an alternate place to get news. Used to, you didn't have anywhere. Yeah, you just had to accept what they had. And they're working very hard to discredit those because everything has to be of one voice, that there's no alternative but to hear what the, what I, I love what you call them. You call them the, the, the prophets of Baal. Yeah, they are the prophets of Baal. They are. But you know what happened to the prophets of Baal? It didn't go well. Yeah. And guess what? There's a spirit of Elijah rising up. That's right. There's a there's a prophetic group of people that are getting ready to declare things, and they'll declare it in such a, a broad way that people will hear it, and it'll happen within 24 hours of what they yeah. say. God is raising up the ecclesia for a time as this, and we're going we're gonna to see some things. And it, it doesn't mean everything is going to be rosy, peachy, keen. No. It means it's going to be survivable. And that God can bless his people in the midst of these things. Yeah. Well, I'm still looking for that transfer of wealth. And in this process of what they're doing, if there's a backfire, all these billions and trillions of dollars that are held up by some of these evil people can trickle down to do what God wants. Yes. Not what a person wants, but somebody doing his will. Yeah. Instead of destroying justice and de- mm-hmm. and destroying all these things, yeah, the, there's a there's a judgment coming on judges. There's a judgment coming on the educational system. There is a judgment getting ready to fall. We're going to see judgment on evil before the big wrath. There's going to be judgment on billionaires that decided that they wanted to destroy destroy justice and destroy righteousness in nations. So, guys, it's a time to buckle up. It's to pray. Yeah. Have the Bible says <laughs> that we are to not be deceived. Why? Because the Spirit of God is living in us. We have the Word of God in our hands. It's time for us to get deep in the Word and to, and to hone our ears to hear the Holy Spirit. I don't know how many times I've been watching the news, Mary, that the Holy Spirit says that isn't right. Mm-hmm. Didn't, just, just listen, what, look what they're doing. And now I look what they're saying, look what they're not saying. Because a lot of times they lie by omission rather than commission. Mm-hmm. Well, Father, empower your people in this day, Father. Get a, let us not be deceived, but let us move in truth. Father, the Holy Spirit is here to lead us into all truth, and Father, we ask that he would activate 
And Father, any yes. false Holy Spirits, any Kundalini Spirits, or any of these other Spirits that have invaded the church, Father, make them manifest. Yes, show what where they really are. So putrid mm-hmm. that the church raises up and yes, drives them out. Expose them, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Stay informed. Tune in to weekly podcasts by Dr. Michael and Mary Lou Lake to keep you informed, inspired, and empowered in the kingdom of God. Tune in to www.kingdomintelligencebriefing.com. That's kingdomintelligencebriefing.com. This video was made possible by our partners worldwide. Please prayerfully consider supporting the ministry that is preparing the remnant for the unfolding of end times prophecy. Send your offerings to Biblical Life, P.O. Box 160, Seymour, Missouri. That's Biblical Life, P.O. Box 160, Seymour, Missouri, 65746-0160. You can also donate online at store.biblical-life.com. That's store.biblical-life.com.